What's up, bitches? Now why would I start off with an intro like that? At the front window of the tiny house, you will see it has been moved by that gargantuan monster of a beast, the Chevy Super Duty 2500 three quarter ton pickup with a 14,000 pound towing capacity. And I believe this house is somewhere around eight to 10,000 pounds right now. I'm not exactly sure where it's at, but I would guess eight. I didn't get it weighed, but I wanted to ask those of you who told me how the drywall would crack on the way over here, exactly how many pieces of drywall do you think cracked on the 50 mile drive over here? I'll give you one hint, none. Just like I thought, none of the drywall has cracked. As you can see, I've put the flooring in here and I'm gonna install the air conditioner so that it can cool down and acclimate to this. No drywall cracks anywhere. This 5 8 inch drywall, man, I've been accidentally bumping the flooring into it and it is no joke. So who wants to see the view out the work window? Look at that. I mean, this is just freaking unreal. I don't even really believe this at this point. There's a view out this window and I will be cleaning these very soon. Here's the view out that window. Let's take a look out the kitchen window. So here's the kitchen sink. We get this view. And we've got the bathroom so we can see who has showed up to visit us out that window. And then out the oven stove window, that is the little cabin that needs quite a bit of TLC and that will come at a later time. Everything was removed from inside this house and the non-sexy part of building a tiny house that you don't see on Instagram and you don't see on people's blogs is that before I had a team of three guys come help me move this thing and make sure I didn't hit any trees, which was actually quite an amazing feat. We had to go take all of the excess drywall and plywood to the dump the local city dump. It smelled bad and there was a long wait and my back hurt after getting it all out of that truck. And that's just part of this process that people don't really talk about. There are a lot of ugly parts of building a tiny house. I mean, hell, this is two and a half years into this build and it is just almost done at this point. I just don't want anyone to get the wrong idea that doing this is a cute little thing and you could just hop on board and build a tiny house. Let's build a tiny house, sweetie. Wouldn't that be fun? No, this is not fun. It's gonna be worth it, but this is not fun at all. I do have to say driving that Chevy 2500 with almost 10,000 pounds, well the, the trailer weighs 2,700 pounds, so that probably was like 11,000 pounds or something like that. Man, that was one of the most fun things I've ever done. I think that was the happiest I've been in the last year and a half. That was pure joy pulling that thing and the looks of people pointing and waving and honking their horns. A lot of people excited about it. Be sure to head over to CaseyFriday.com. I'm gonna put a gallery up of some of the photos that you haven't really been able to see until now because now that there's space around this house, how about the front door? Here's the view out our front door. And that's gonna be a nice vegetable garden that Jessica is going to be curating. It was really nice to see people uh, honking and waving and getting excited and everything. Now that's done, I'm going to take the truck back and uh, we'll move on to the next little bit. And the next bit is going to be Getting the power turned on and getting the air conditioner installed. I'm guessing with power and air conditioning, man, this is just, this is really unreal. I wish I could convey this feeling. I have goosebumps just thinking about this. The fact that the house is out here and you know, we've got this nice little driveway that's got some plywood on it currently. That was to prevent uh, destroying all of those pavers as I rolled this 10,000 pound house over it. And uh, one of them was destroyed. I haven't taken all the plywood off. One of them was cracked. And I did get up to, I would say, about uh, 55 miles an hour max. Buying this 27,200 pound axle trailer along with towing it with a Chevy 2500, that was a really good decision. That was a smooth ride. I mean, it felt way smoother than using the U-Haul F-150 that I towed the trailer itself from uh, Austin down to San Antonio with. I was really happy about the level of smoothness in the ride. And I'm really glad to be out here. I'm glad to have moved all of the flooring in here so that it can be refrigerated and we can move on to the next step. But just take one last nice panoramic. Look at this Texas view, Texas forever, baby. Oh my God, this is so freaking exciting. I hope you're as excited as I am. This thing's gonna be done soon. If you see this anytime, today is October 23rd, I believe. If you see this anytime near then, if I get it edited by then, my goal at this point is to hopefully, hopefully, be living in this house uh, by the last day of November. So I don't know if that's gonna happen. And usually when I set goals, I don't meet them with this house because the tasks in this thing, they're just gargantuan. It's really hard to get things done in here. But that's my goal. 
And uh, I'm going to try as hard as I can to meet it. Jessica's going to help me out. And um, we'll see what happens. So thank you for watching. I'm Casey from CaseyFriday.com in my crack-free drywall tiny house.